Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Wild North Addiction. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is William and Wild North Addiction is full of bust ups and no plan. But have we got a plan today or not? What's that? Have we got a plan? Nah, never. Never a plan. Not here, but we are in Kaikoura and uh, we got the tuna gear on board. We're gonna try and catch a hard hook on a soft bait because I really actually want to do that with my funny ass looking rig. That's a big bait donkey with a big sinker. Spear guns. Come on, you gonna play Mark or butterfish, eh? Shit, yeah. I've never speared a fish. Got the dial with tuna gear. Got some uh, slow pitching gear for hard hooker. They actually catch them in like 80 meters here, so that's. We're gonna go and do that because that'll be a bloody sick. And, uh,. It's an absolute shit show at the boat ramp. There's people everywhere. So, must mean it's a bloody good day for fishing. But, we're all loaded up, ready to go. So, uh, no mucking around. Let's go. Let's go. Laters. So many commercial cray boats here. It's uh, it's pretty loose. It's bloody cool though. Look at all the big trailers. This place is so bloody cool, actually. I really rate it. Just a big fishing community. What it's all about. Watch out, jump! Watch out! <laughs> he makes you gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, George has just got us on to the spot. Is this the spot, George? Is this the spot? Uh, we'll be about 130 okay. Alright, so skip it doors today. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and get to Puka first. So we've just got the little Daiwa combo. A little Daiwa Saltus. With 30 pound braid on it. And BKK hooks. With a bit of squid. A couple of sinkers. And let's see if we can't catch a Puka in like... 80 meters. So that'd be bloody good. And then once we get a few, chuck this dog out. Yeah, we can't get one on the old softy. So Poker, hopefully, take that off the list. Right, so first drop and we're hooked up. What do you reckon it could be, George? Roper? Harpoka, maybe. Hopefully it's a harpoka. I've only caught one. I didn't really catch it, it was only an <laughs> it was electric reel. Hopefully it's a poker. Oh no, nah, it's a um drop it up. Oh, yeah. yeah, boy. First trumpeter. Yeah. That's mean. I'm not going to complain with that. Oh, well. How bloody good is that? First trumpeter. Get the dog. 
Three perch. Never mind one. Catch three of them at the same time. Exactly. Got the dog. How deep are we? Uh, 276. And you're on PE3. Look how much light I got. <laughs> and it's pe it was peeling before. Always good knobs there. I've got like not even 50 meters left. My arm is going to be sore by the time I get this up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at town for it. That's a good fish, bro. That's a good fish. What's this 30 pound line? Yeah, I think you're PE3, PE2. Just deep dropping for for poker <laughs> with the snappy gear. Two wings? Yep, my arm's getting sore. Let's see. This could be the poker you're after, mate. Could be the poker. I was like about to wind it in too. Yeah. Hey, you've got a crowd, you've got Marty watching you. Hey mate. Ma Marty the Molly Marty. What's up Marty? Hey, we've got a seal over there. Yeah. A seal way over there. Heaps of those dogs. How's the conditions though, eh? Is this the point that we just go cut and um, put in the caption 20 minutes later? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Cut! <laughs> yep. Definitely floating. Here it is. I think you might have self hooker here, bro. Yeah, boy. You do. You uh, have a really nose. nice. Ah, blue nose, yeah. Blue nose. Really nice blue nose. There we go. On the snapper gear. How bloody good is that? Yeah, boy. Got him. Yeah, boy. Proof you don't need electrics. Just need snapper gear. Nah. On that uh, BKK, that's just a big BKK. Eight or ten bar row. That's actually what I use for snappers. Got him. Good dog. Alright, there we go. First Kaikoua Blue Knights on the snapper gear in like 280 meters. So that is going to be bloody good eating, but we're not going to muck around. Get him in the bin and then uh, try and get another. What's happening, Willie? Right, so I was just letting it down and it just started hissing out. Clicked it under gear. Stray lining for bloody. Blue Nose, or Rage Bream, or whatever this is. Something. Never caught one of them. It doesn't feel like a Blue Nose. The funny thing is, I know a couple of guys that have caught Bluefin Tuna while out chasing Blue Nose now. Really? Getting them on baits. Oh, I don't think this is a tuna, it's coming up. If it was, you'd be like, uh oh, no more line. <laughs> no more PE3. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. That was a rather nice raised bream, my friend. That is another species that I've not caught. That's a really nice one. Look at that dog. So that's a member of the Pomfret family, I think. Yeah. That's an orange ruffy in that, eh? Kind of. Look at the vicious little teeth in there. Look at the little hoa. Oh my god. That is cool. That is very cool. Another species ticked off for you? That is. So, so you caught your first salmon, you got your first trumpeter. 
Now you got your first raised bream. She's all go down here, isn't it? I'm liking it a lot. Yeah. Perch. <laughs> yeah, big perch. Two of them. Perch hunters. I am the perch hunter. You're turning into an Asian. Keep both dogs. Yeah, same. That's a real good one. Alright. Tear key on the board. Drop down to the little hooks, eh? Got him. Yeah, bro. Drop right down to like two bar of hooks for it. I think I'm all hooked up too. Alright, so we've uh, just stopped uh, bottom fishing and we got one Cherokee and a couple of perch. We got plagued by perch actually. And got my first trumpeter, got a blue nose, and I think that's all we got. But now we're gonna go and trawl for bluefin, give it a go, and wow. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can nail one. Apparently there was some scene not so long ago around here. So hopefully we can get one. Plan, it'll be the ultimate day. Three first in one day. Right, there we go, one drop, and we both come back with no hooks or sinker. Bust up. Good blue cod, that's actually a real good one. That's my, that's my PB, he's in the bin. Yeah. And hopefully, Nick's got another one. Hopefully. And it doesn't look orangey. Oh yeah, two. Two good ones. Get a free spool. <laughs> Bust up. And another way, down. Yep. Oh yeah, look at that. Called it, double the cob. Double fisting on a Monday. So you're around six of these here per person per day. Six per so person per day. So absolutely we, nothing wrong with those. So we can get 18 of the dolls. Yeah. I like the sound of that. There you go. Alright, in, in the bin. Fish on. This one doesn't actually feel the biggest. Which in the dog in? I don't know. Oh, tear key. Yeah, boy. Oh, here comes my babe. Here we go. Oh, tear key. Oh, sorry. Couple ones. Couple ones. Too bad, yeah. How bloody good is that? I quite like this. <laughs> oh yeah boy. That's a big one. 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 How bloody good is that? 
Big dog. Big dog. That's fishing done for the day. Right, we just made it back to the wharf on 25 litres. There's like 100 ball left in the tank, man. Yeah, it was like <laughs> cutting out as we got to the boat ramp. How bloody cool is that? A boat ramp wash at the boat ramp that you can just use for two minutes for free. That is a bloody good idea. I like it a lot. Look at this big rig. That is a big rig. Right, boat's clean, trucks not clean, trailer's clean. Bloody cool they've got a wash down pump here, but I am going to leave the video there. Thank you guys very much for watching. It's, uh, it's actually been a bloody cool day out here in Kaikoura. It's a uh, bloody cool place. Heaps of fish, heaps of uh, different fish that I haven't caught. But we are going to go back to Christchurch now and go and get a big night's sleep and we'll see what we get up to tomorrow. So don't forget, William the Fisherman on Instagram and Facebook and Wild North Addiction on TikTok. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. But other than that, I am going to leave you guys there. So I'll see you in the next episode.